Hope this weekend when you were driving around uh, All Saints that you were able to see some of the very creative snow sculptures that were made by some of our young people. I was, uh, it was, anyways, yeah, it brought much joy. Uh, when I was a little kid being raised in Waukesha, Wisconsin, uh, where it seemed like it snowed uh, six months out of the year uh, at our city park, they would literally build like out of uh, like four by eight sheets of plywood, they'd build like boxes and then they would use land movers and dump snow into them. And then different groups and organizations would come through and they would then carve and sculpt these huge blocks of snow. And then all of us, like the families would all come down and you'd all like walk through the city park and see these like crazy snow sculptures and some of them they turn into like slides and anyways. So it was, it was, it was awesome to see the work of, uh, of some of our families and young people this weekend. I mention this because our reading today from the, the book of prophet Isaiah says, thus says the Lord, just as from the heavens, the rain and the snow come down and do not return there until they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. Just as the water comes down, just as the rain comes down, just as the snow comes down, it comes down just as God's word does. I always like that, that powerful image. I mean, water is such a powerful, powerful thing. And when we think about the power of water and the power of movement that comes with it, water has the ability to make its way always to the deepest and darkest places. If there is a hole in your gutter, you are bound to have the largest of icicles. If there is a hole in a bucket, the water will seep out. If you have water in your basement, it'll go to the lowest corner in the basement. I think it's a powerful image for us to think about God's word. Where is the lowest place in my heart? Where is the crevice? Where is the hole? Where is the wound? where I need God's word, like, which is like water, which will always make its way down. And to just invite the Lord's word to go to that depth, to go to that place. Now as our snow is melting and lakes and rivers are overflowing, we ask that that rush of God's mercy, of God's grace, may channel its way, may make its way to the depths of our heart, which needs healing, which needs mercy, which needs grace. Throughout these Lenten days, let's pray the good Lord may allow the rain and the snow to come and not leave until it achieves the end for which he sent it. Let us pray.